I put Barney the horse. See Barney's dad. Oh, like, Barney. Oh, I don't like that he has. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> We're Dragon These Dice, a comedy actual play D&D 5e podcast in a homebrew setting in the world of Diz. They yeah. know every single time they ask if we like Dungeons It's Dragons. really, it's really silly. <laughs> I usually very, uh, I usually make a really funny joke. No, you don't. When have you ever done that? Our heroes are departing from the kingdom of Green Clay to head through the desert in pursuit of information on an under construction coliseum. The strange discovery of a broken apparatus that allows for wizards to cast unknown spells leads the group to leave in a hurry after causing a commotion in the castle. But boarded into their modified carriage to cross the upcoming sand dunes, their path first takes them through Felsenstadt, revealed to be the town Pebble was born in that was destroyed by a dragonborn invasion. Bringing these memories back up causes Pebble to fight with the group and run off deeper into the town to pray. In the interim, the curious Shello dropped a magic bean into the town's well, causing a malicious tree ant to sprout, fling Shello into a nearby building, and is now charging at the carriage where Marin, Bolsor, and Sana sit and wait. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. So, right off the bat, I guess I need everyone to roll for initiative. Yeah. Sure do. Who and I rolled a, a nat 20s, by the way. I'm, I'm happy with my roll. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. I think it makes sense that I would be one of the later ones to get to combat if I mean, I'm not yeah, directly that's, that's in... Sense. See, exactly. Oh. Oh, Don't yo. question my judgment, Lane. He's a big fella. He's elderly. Was he some sort of giant? Was he some Wait, where's Shello? Oh, there's Shello. Where's Pebble? Oh, there's Pebble. He's a bean man. Oh, I f oh he's made of bean. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. I've got a fucking turn. Okay, timeline of events here. Uh, this tree ant took around 10 minutes to sprout up. Oh, this is gonna be great. If any of you fucks die, I will actually cry. I will shed real tears. Glad we, I'm glad we got a fuss when abandoning the battle. Uh, <laughs> question. Team, man. Yeah. Question, Peanut. Seeing as I was flung through a building, did I take any damage? Yeah, you took about 18 oh, yeah. damage, I believe. Oh my god! Yeah, so you all watched as this thing just crawled out of the well, hitting Shello into a nearby building. Uh, and it's now currently climbing out of the well. You all see its giant wooden form, its eyes glowing red as they dart over towards the carriage, which Marin uh, currently has a standstill uh, turning this corner. So we're starting up at the top of the combat here at Marin. I don't want to get anywhere near the fucking well. I hope our horse don't get hit. I'm so fucking scared. Yeah, you're, you're current, you currently have your hands on the reins. The only problem is that Lothsar moves after. <laughs> Uh huh. So I can't just like get. <laughs> I. Uh, oh, he's I gonna hit me, but I do have shield. I can probably if. Yeah, but he's gonna fucking kill uh, the horse and destroy the carriage. It's the oh, horse out of the way. way. <laughs> you can get cover and still move Balthazar. Like Balthazar doesn't have to get hit. Ah, uh, this fucking sucks. I don't have much <laughs> movement speed because I want to be able to draw its attention by attacking it after I move, but I. <sighs> I don't have a whole lot of movement speed. No, you don't. <laughs> I vouch for the death of our horse. No! You killed Barney? Don't <laughs> kill Barney, I love Barney. Like immediately after giving the horse's name, <laughs> gave you an emotional attachment to it for this fight. I did. Mm -hmm. I, guess, I guess we'll just move it in between these... Well, what are these fucking barrels? <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't. I didn't notice those before. <laughs> yeah, cur currently not turning this corner yet. You don't see the barrels. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I think terrible. our main goal is to dodge whatever its charge attack it might mm -hmm. be doing, and then get its attention elsewhere. I, I guess we're just gonna go fucking here then. I see these. Suspicious motherfucking barrels. Inside. Yeah, so as, as you're turning the corner, Marion, can you make a perception check? Yeah. Oh! Natural 20. Oh so you immediately see these barrels as you 
turn the corner and you can identify them as being normal barrels but with red paint at the top. Oh. Um, I was thinking they were like explosives. I know video games, I know what that means. Looking yeah. at these, you begin to look around further and you see what looks like a person on the roof to your right and another person on the roof to your left. Oh. What? Holy what? shit. Yeah, no, we just killed our horse. Who are these guys? It's oh. the bandit. Oh, I don't know. We don't know if they are. <laughs> yeah, these, I don't I think these are different bandits. There's only so many bandit photos. <laughs> Marin, no, Marin would recognize them at the same bandits you had come into contact with at uh, in the capital. That building. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's, I want I, like, I want apologies. <laughs> you doubted me. Would I be able to tell if these had explosives in them by any chance? Make a uh, make investigation check. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Eight. From context clues, red painted barrels, you can maybe assume that they could be explosive. However, you don't really know like in which way. It's hard to really tell because they're just like normal looking barrels. Yeah. Also, these barrels are... Yeah. Looking at them, they seem to be... Uh, propped up against some rocks, kind of thrown into the path, uh, directly blocking sort of movement past them. Um, I have 15 feet of movement. I guess that just gives me enough to get off the fucking carriage. So I get off the carriage, go there, and I am going to shoot this motherfucker with my longbow with a arrow of blinding. Okay. But it does a 14 hit. A 14 does not hit. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> I forgot to rage first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. I have two attacks. Uh, mm -hmm. That's my whole fucking thing. I'm going to rage now. Okay. <laughs> it's a d12, right? Yes. Or... Okay. What's six? I don't have my book open. Uh, oh, plus one defense. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you gain Forever plus one AC. Your scars give off... They're, they're already kind of glowing, but they give off a brighter sort of light that gives an aura around you that adds to your defense. Uh, okay. and in addition, this aura goes 10 feet around you, so any allies within that 10 feet also gain plus one AC. Ooh. Yeah. So that covers all three of these guys, currently. How tall is the building? Well, I guess, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, probably wouldn't reach him. He's probably about 20 feet up or so. Damn. Yeah, he misses out. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna try and shoot this motherfucker again with another <laughs> arrow! Does it 24 hit? Okay, yeah, 24 hits this time. Okay, If you said awesome. no, I would've shit myself. That's terrifying. Okay, so this motherfucker takes... Er, there's seven damage. The arrow pierces into the wood, but not... Not quite, uh, seeming to do a whole lot of damage. Mm -hmm. However, it then... Uh, bursts with light on impact, and it looks away, its wood creaking as it moves very, like, slowly from this. Eyes currently look like in a daze, just kind of looking around the floor and into the air. Then, Cello, it is your turn. You're currently in this ruins of a building. You are thrown uh, into a, um, what appears to be a, a wooden chest currently just <laughs> smash the top of it inside of this chest uh you took a little little bit of damage a little bit <laughs> a little bit i guess it's just a smidge about half of your health almost <laughs> i believe <laughs> i'd like to look in this chest that i'm <laughs> okay make, oh make an investigation check yes please i'm not surprised I'm not surprised either, but... Shell is my special little boy. I love him. Getting thrown into this chest and looking around, the chest just seems empty. You're not seeing anything in it. Uh, it seems that these ruins have been here for a while, so most of the stuff here has probably been looted a thousand times over, possibly, so it doesn't seem like you're finding anything in this chest. I see. I'm gonna uh, uh, just walk out into the into the opening here i'm just thinking there's nothing that i can really do that benefits us at the minute you can I do could something that doesn't benefit us 
Sure. Uh, I'll shoot the Triant. Uh, nine? Nine flies right past and you miss. Crud. I guess I'm just going to stand here with my arms wide open, making myself a bigger target. <laughs> it seemed to... Yeah, first of all, it's blind, so it didn't even notice the arrow fly past it. Also, its back is turned towards you, so it possibly wouldn't have noticed or cared either way. However, at this point, who you see as the bandit captain who Marin saw and the rest of you possibly hadn't noticed yet, uh, he was laying prone on this building. Then he jumps up to be standing and yells down at Marin and the carriage. Hey, stranger! Fancy meeting you here! Oh, what? What is that thing? Why did you lead that here? Stranger, we know this guy. Yeah, we know. That's the the point. It's a story, but for later. Let's focus for now. We knew you were coming through Feldenstadt, so we thought we'd meet you here, but uh, we didn't really expect this. Uh, What are we supposed to do about this? Just stay out of reach and try your best to do any damage you can. But don't put yourselves in danger. Baron, can you make a persuasion check? Okay. <laughs> I feel like they're here just to, just to rob us. He's like, he's looking around uh, confused, kind of scared of this giant monster. And he, he runs towards the back of these ruins going to this corner. Uh, it doesn't seem like he has any ranged weapons on him either. So. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Sana, it's your Love turn. That. So, so the, the the big the big tree guy is looking like he's about to uh, charge at us, or at least Marin. Uh, he's looking towards your direction, but Marin had just blinded him, so he's currently uh, moving his head around, really unable to see right now. But he's still facing your direction, and he's looking like he's still about to charge in that general direction, although he can't really see that well. And I'm assuming this is still too high, and it's not crumbled down. Um, um, the crumbled parts are a little bit easier to get through um, than, like, the... You can't get past the walls without climbing, um, but the crumbled parts you can probably get through more easily. It'd just be difficult terrain. Okay, okay, okay. All right, uh, so Sana's gonna, um, like, see see all the... Well, see all the experience, all this. Uh, she's gonna start, sh- like, scrambling over the side of the, uh, the, the wagon and sort of kicking Balthazar in the process a bit, just like <laughs> fluttering my legs. Uh, and then she's gonna fall out and then just climb climb up to like the the edge here and just kind of, um, actually no, right here, and just kind of like crouch down a little bit, staring at the tree. And um, can I just like hold a dodge action then, I guess? Yeah, you, you can hold a, a dodge as a reaction. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just hold that for now. Then, and then my turn. Okay, it is now the tree ant's turn. Mm-hmm. He begins charging forward. Uh, however, being blinded, I've rolled for him to go a random direction. Oh, oh god, oh god, no, Shella! No. Shella no. no. is literally behind him. <laughs> he's gonna turn around and just. Well, you said a random over. direction. Like, like a, like, he's not, like, he's not gonna I, do a three sixty then. <laughs> However, he runs directly <laughs> towards Sana completely on accident. No. Sort of like ramming into the building Sana is on. Are you using your dodge? Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> this is what I was waiting for. <laughs> As he rams into this building, he begins hitting all around. What are you doing? Uh, just trying to dodge all the fucking things <laughs> he's throwing at me. Was... Okay, so uh, he'll take disadvantage on his slams that he's about to do is a 14 hit a 14 no all right and swinging the other arm down oh boy also missing that one so being blind hit he's unable to really hit you i'm just like jumping and, and dying and like crouching Joking underneath the and rocks dying. just like terrified it is now the other bandit's turn this guy takes a step back and he's going to try to fire his crossbow past sauna at the tree ant but missing wildly, he seems to be on edge right now, kind of scared of this thing, uh, not able to hit it. Pebble, we are on yeah. you now. After right. the 10 minutes it has taken for this tree ant to sprout and begin attacking, uh, you've been super concentrated, focused on this spell. You maybe have heard some commotion, but the sort of reality of this monster attack 
hasn't really hit you yet. You don't really know this is really happening behind behind you. So as she's sort of like is finishing up this like 10 minutes of concentration, like the glowing from her fade from her hands begins to fade. And then a what looks at first sort of just like more rocks begin to rise up out of the ground until a massive beetle made out of rocks and uh like encrusted with gems uh appears next to her she hops on top of it and sort of like pats the head at first and then she runs she's gonna run out this is boulder by the way guys low boulder i love her a lot she runs out and she's like shella what the fuck what what is going on what is that thing what happened hello rock lady yeah, hi, Cello. What? What There's is a tree? This? How did it get there? What's going on? It came from the well. Are the Are the others okay? It's a tree, man. <laughs> okay. She she sort of like rubs her temples and she's like, okay. I had... All right. I'm gonna go over and see if they're okay. It sort of like Goodbye. gallops gallops on over, scuttles on over, and then. I'm gonna shoot an arrow at it yeah, from it here. Attack. Heck freaking yeah. Does this 21 hit? 21 hits. Hell yeah, okay. Does a nine hit? Why would you say that? <laughs> nine damage. <laughs> nine, okay, nine damage. Like then. Marin's arrow before, it pierces into it. However, it being wood it doesn't seem to do the full nine damage. I can't- a six does not hit. No, your second arrow flies past it, missing. Hits Sana in the face. No, it doesn't. Uh, Balsar, <laughs> we're on to you. I mean, kind of seems like I probably should. Um, I want to cast Fireball. So, it, it like being, um, <laughs> day still, and also a, a giant, creaky, wooden tree, it, this hits him directly, head on. 27 fire damage catching him on fire and the fire sort of lingers uh before kind of fading out seeming to do even more amount of damage than that 27. let's go both of us are really showing who's boss i'm gonna try and get like over here so i can like, dash from the cart try and get it away from the horse after that fireball this thing has a lot of burn marks on it some charcoal falling off its body the fireball kind of burnt off like a portion of its shoulder and we're at the top of combat at Marin. It, it loses blindness at the start of your turn right Marin? yeah and sauna right in front of this thing you see the smoke clear and then just two red glowing eyes staring directly at oh. you <laughs> that is terrifying and badass i'm gonna try and shoot at this fucker again with another blinding arrow all right fuck Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Flying past it misses. I'm gonna get up real close and personal. Mm -hmm. Against better judgment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna You're... swing at it my halberd. Right. Hi. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Ooh, now the halberd also misses some of the smoke still lingering. Having a hard time seeing what you're trying to hit. Are you doing anything else? This is gonna fucking suck. No, I can't do anything else. Okay, Shell, we're back to you then. I would like to come towards this d debris. Debris? Um, this debris? Um, fuck. Because I don't want to get close. <laughs> Could I dip some of the blowgun needles in acid? Uh, yeah. He, I think he's outside of my good range, so I have to do yeah, disadvantage. Visit. Disadvantage. Uh, 20 15. and 15. Barely misses. Crap. You fling this, and it flies past him, hitting the wall of this ruined building it's in front of, kind of dissolving some of the sandstone slightly. I guess I'll, I'll give Bardic inspiration to uh, Marin. Marin already has inspiration. Fuck. I don't, I don't. You give it to the guy who does, like, fire damage, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, You, know, sure. you could not be, awesome. be sexist and give it to the girl. Hey, oh, right. literally, wow. you do like women. You do? <laughs> Holy moly. Is Balthazar a woman? Yes. Is he? Sure. 
The inspiration yeah, would like not help give... the fire, by the way, because the enemy makes the same. Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. Give it to him. Give it to him. Uh, no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna heal myself. Um, Probably a small move. Five. None of you really have eyesight on the bandit captain who's up on the building, uh, but as far as you know, he's just staying there, not doing anything. But we're on the side nice. then. I am terrified about <laughs> Zara's gonna unleash another fireball and hit us in the process. Because the AoE. So. <laughs> but, um, Sana's gonna, just like, like, all the shin debris and stuff from the fire just over her. She like pat herself down and get up and run and not wanting to, uh, standing at the edge of the wall, not wanting to, um, you know, get, catch her, have her, have her stick start on, or druid stick to get on fire. She's just gonna, um, she's gonna punch it in just in the face. All right. <laughs> so first attack. Hit him in that dumb nose. 18, yeah. 18 hits. Four damage. Hitting its hard wooden form, you're like, staff like rings in your hand it seemed to not do even that full amount of damage i go in with the left hand uh 13 misses that time and then actually in the first hit can i make that a stunning strike yeah they get a 22 as the stun doesn't take effect as it just looks at you and its mouth opens like it's about to speak and it's just like <sighs> all right for my bonus action uh, I believe I can hit again due to my uh, druid traits. Mm -hmm. So another, another, just, just you know, boom, boom, and just in pain. Look for the eye and just aim there. Fuck, natural one. Fuck. Um, if 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 I step back and jump down the wall, would it get an opportunity attack on me? Yes. Fuck. Okay, no, I just stand my ground then. That's on turn. its turn, it's. It's going to bring two of its fists up, slam them down, uh, one hand on Sana, the other hand on Marin. Coordinated fucker. Yay. No, not yay. Sana, it a rolled a first. 19. Yes. Marin, it rolls a yep. 28. Will those hit, correct? Oh, yes. I wonder. You do, you, oh, you, you do uh, both have a... Plus one the AC from Marin's <gasps> thing. It's yeah, so you know okay. that, that, 28 that, 16, <laughs> that sixteen really just beats that twenty-eight. Yeah, I, I was more saying that for well, Sana. I can remember that twenty-eight is stands no chance. So, <laughs> Sana, it gets a better hit on you than Marin. Oh Sana, it does twenty damage to you, bludgeoning. Marin, it does twelve bludgeoning to you. Oh boy! Wait a minute. Resistance. Uh, did you say that's half? Yeah, so you can half that. Okay, so that I'm supposed it was, to die to Marin's hands, not a tree. <laughs> no, Marin's never going to kill you. Stop it. I'll kill you. <laughs> then it's, it's like. funnier if you don't want to. Oh my god. Marin, no tree. What? Excuse what? Me? Oh, why, why Baron, no tree? <laughs> oh man. Oh, I understand now. <laughs> it's sad because good. there's no tree. Yeah, there's no trees here. <laughs> Do a minor, minor image of a tree for him to The bandits uh, on the same building as Sana, who has the crossbow, puts the crossbow away and just gets down on the ground, lays flat, goes prone, tries to make himself not visible. Pebble oh my god, this guy's such yeah. a coward. Okay, I'm gonna get even closer. I'm going to attack with my long sword, and I'm going to use branding smite, uh, with with the the prayer beads. Okay, <laughs> that's a fourteen hit. A fourteen misses now. Okay, I'll I'll attack again. I'll attack again. Does a does a nineteen hit? Nineteen hits this time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> I deal damage and the branding smite. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now I do I roll again for branding smite or are we gonna use the one that I just I'll use the one you uh okay, one okay. so the nine damage plus the seven radiant. So you hit it, uh chipping a little bit of wood off so you can not do a lot of damage with that. However, the sword lights up in radiant energy, doing additional damage, it seems to take all the radiant damage, but half Ooh. of the piercing. 
Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, wait, is your sword slashing or piercing? It's slashing, yeah. Okay, so it actually, it takes all the slashing as well. It only <laughs> yeah. has resistance to bludgeoning and piercing. Fuck yeah! Okay. Okay, huge win for Pebble. Okay. <laughs> After Pebble <laughs> comes in from the back slashing it, it lets out another, another groan, kind of creaking. <sighs> And it's looking fairly weak now. It, a, lot, a lot of uh, some some dents in its wood, uh, ashy charcoal falling off, and some embers still kind of burning on it from the fireball. And we're back to Balthazar. Back shots. Well, right. No. Kill the rest. Shut of up, the team. Pebble. No, I'm gonna hit fireball. I, Where are actually, you making... no. Huh? Do it. I'm not gonna cast fireball. I'm gonna try this new weapon I got. Okay. Yeah, if you cast fireball, you hit us. Yeah. Yeah, getting... I was about to ask where the 24 fireball. radius was because last time you could have I mean, easily done it away, but now it's. I mean, fireball's still in the list of spells here, so let's find out what happened. Are you um, using no, the apparatus to cast point. fireball? I think I'm gonna go for the second level. I might go for scorching ray. All right. So let's do the arcana check. Fuck. <laughs> Do, I, do you want me to roll like a d6 to see what I'm actually going to cast? Yeah, so go ahead and roll a d6. Let's see what I cast. Did I actually just get Scorching Ray? No. No, I got <laughs> Heat Metal? Heat Metal? Heat Metal is really oh, useful. Yeah, this is, this is definitely going to help. Well, sure. don't give me shit. You can cast <laughs> you're the one that rolled low. I'll give you a little bit of shit. So I mean, Bal Baltazar begins trying to cast a beam of Scorching Ray, but then the gauntlet he has on kind of sparks as it ignites with arcane power. Baltazar channels through it, and instead uh, some sort of hot uh, radiance sort of comes out of the glove, just not doing anything. <laughs> there's no metal on this wooden tree. <laughs> yeah, I fucking really sad. <laughs> I just- I want to try it! The new thing! I'm gonna try and hit this motherfucker with Blessed Halberd again. That was a 22 hit. 22 hits. 14 damage. 16, 16 with the rage. Oh, 16. All right, because I'm sad. It doesn't uh, show me on the thing. So you, you slash at it with your halberd, chopping some of the, like, loose, uh, kind of branches and, and wooden pieces coming out of its, uh, leg area to me to do a very a good chunk of damage to it just giving it a little trim yeah trimming the hedges yeah yeah what are you doing i'm a gardener <laughs> i'm doing it again all right 19 hits 19 hit. and coming back around ch chopping like a good chunk off uh, like a wedge of one of its legs kind of like you're halfway through chopping down a tree the leaves on its head that kind of make up a a, a hair on it kind of shake like a dying tree and some <clears throat> leaves fall off of its head as it seems to be very injured right now. You're making it's me bolded. feel bad for this guy. I it's feel bad for him. Okay, I know, but what if what if we can make friends with him and then we can send him, we can like take him somewhere that actually has tr like trees. Jello is your He's trying to kill us. Okay. <laughs> I do, I do kind of want to make friends with this guy. It's huge and it's trying to kill us. It's I'm, not, definitely... I'm not going to tell you what us... its intelligence is, but it's higher than most of the party members. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Not... Okay, listen, maybe listen. Maybe should try to talk to him. That's not, that's not hard. <laughs> no. Uh, we set the bar able... low there. <laughs> am I able to go through these um, wood things? Uh, yeah, that's just wood from the top of the well. This thing, like, destroyed and, like, flung around, along the ground. So it wouldn't be considered difficult to or thing. It's just, like, kind of small planks. Okay. I'm looking at my scimitar of speed here. And it seems I can make one attack with it. It's a bonus action. So I would like to dash. Okay. Um, which means I can go 60 feet, correct? Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to saunter on up to this kind sir and attack with my scimitar of speed. 19. 19 hits. Uh, 7 damage. You slash on the other side of its leg that Marin was slashing at. If it was, if this was like the start of the combat, it wouldn't be too much damage, but it being uh, looking so weak right now, it seems to be pretty bad right now. 
All right, I'm gonna do some cool shit. <clears throat> so, uh, bloody the fuck up. She, she, I am not looking good right now. So, uh, she's gonna, she's kind of crying, spitting blood. So she's just gonna, like, just wobble up and uh, throw a. There are two more punches. So the first one is eleven. Eleven misses. And then the second one nine misses. Nine. <laughs> Alright, then uh she's gonna do flurry of blows. Uh first one. Twenty one. Twenty one hits. Uh that's uh six damage. Six you, be you begin hitting it, uh bludgeoning so it doesn't do a whole lot, but it seems to be adding up. Uh dirty twenty, and that is nine damage. Nice, doing a little bit more on the second hit. Uh, I want to make the uh, a stunning strike. Con save of 12. Okay. Oh yeah, this time you punch it right into a sort of ashy part of its head that was kind of burnt off by the last fireball. You seem to punch into the weakened wood of its head and go right through into basically what could be its brain inside that stuns its eyes that begin to just flash red. I do boom, boom, nothing happens. I look again, I cr maybe crack some wood, and then uh, she, like, punches again and again to hit, do what you said, hits, like, the uh, in inner sides. Yeah, you, you, you of break it. through, like, a wall of and wood to go into its head. She jumps on it, like, kicks, kicks him in the face, and then jumps back, and then when she's near the, um, the ledge of the wall, her, she, like, grip it with her, um, her hands, and then pull herself into the wall and slide down, and uh, I can so I have slow fall for 25 uh, feet or nice, 25 yeah. damage taken, so I I just slide down the wall and hide behind it uh, away from, away from its sight. Yeah, sliding down this sandstone wall, getting low to where the rocks are. You're now under cover. Is that everything for you then? Yeah, just boom, boom, kick, kick, cool ass backflip. So it's currently stunned. Its head kind of moving, it getting like a little bit lower to the ground, unable to really act currently pebble or so, onto your turn yeah, i'm really has feeling bad for this i'm really feeling bad for this thing i don't want to kill oh. it i don't want to kill it it's we can't just befriend everything especially not things actively trying to kill us okay. Okay. You advantage you don't want to waste that you never hit anyways <laughs> bro oh my god shut up anyway I'm gonna... God damn it, this sucks. I don't want to kill it. Okay, I'm gonna kill it. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna choose to knock it out. But I'm gonna attack with my long sword. Nine the nine misses. doesn't hit, but I have advantage. You have advantage. A, a eight, eight misses. Eight force, okay. Alright, I'm gonna oh, attack. No. I'm gonna attack again. I'm gonna attack again. A nine misses. <laughs> I'm gonna attack again. Twenty one. Okay, there you go. Last roll you got. Yeah. Him. What did I say? <laughs> Took me long enough. I really needed that, huh? <laughs> four. Uh, four damage. Slashing. Okay, you take another chunk out of it, just kind of trimming some of the loose twigs on it. Not really doing a whole lot, but it's looking uh, super weak. Okay, I'm gonna yell over to Marin. I'm gonna say, Marin. This thing is trying to kill us. I understand that, but we shouldn't kill it. It it seems like it wants something. It doesn't it doesn't seem malicious. Besides the glowing red eyes. Besides the glowing red eyes. It doesn't seem malicious. It wants you have to yell that to Marin as now balls are turn. But it would guys, it wants trees. It it wants trees. It's in a barren wasteland. It wants Yeah, and Sana's almost dead. And Too bad. I don't know how bad Cello is still, but he mm. he healed himself. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're, Pebbles we're trying to Pebbles trying to be peaceful for once. I mean, he's in the he's in like the sandy like sort of like not necessarily desert, but like it's pretty dry. Maybe he's just thirsty. Exactly. See, this guy gets it. I'm gonna attempt to use the gauntlet to cast fear on it. Um, right, I'll do my kind of check. Fuck. <laughs> so that's this is uh, not going great. That's level roll D6 now. three. So yeah, roll a D6. Could be five. Well, you could... oh, it's five. Well, he's. Five. <laughs> uh, um, let me just run. Good thing I have fireball to do, so I can. I 
can just okay. Um... So let's see. You cast it here. Fireball is a twenty foot radius. Oh, I can do. Yeah. You just hit fucking yeah. everybody. I'm behind a wall. I'm behind a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it has disadvantage on dexterity. Uh, okay. Uh, sucks. Balthazar holds out his gauntlet. He <laughs> he th- he thinks up a a fearful visage he can cast to make this thing afraid and and run away from the party, sparing its life. Then he casts it, and instead a giant fireball launches out directly at this giant tree, hitting it directly into its center, the whole thing bursting into flame like Burning Man. (laughs) Oh my god. We can't even choose to spare it now because it's on fucking fire. Then you missed that? Let me get out my non-lethal fire. It's yelling out just a... You just hear creaking inside as its form collapses in on itself. The fire and smoke going like way up in, into the sky causing a giant just plume of smoke uh oh fuck Marin, pebble shello <laughs> please please i can't take this i won't i won't do sauna since she's behind the wall there <laughs> oh i would have died <laughs> no matter what so you three in there uh do a dexterity saving throw all right you gotta beat 14. Would I get? Because I, have, I get advantage on stuff that I can see. Would I not get advantage on this since it's coming from behind me? No, we, we can say you see it since it, it hits okay. the thing in front of you. So I take twenty-three oh. damage. Oh! <laughs> oh! So just Pebble and Shello, you both take twenty-three damage. Marin, you take half of twenty-three. <laughs> this treant does collapse in on itself, <laughs> dying from this. As it just becomes a giant bonfire. That's fine. Poor guy. This is why Sana doesn't trust humans. <laughs> this gone one, bro. He sacrificed. Shell, after taking twenty-seven, party. are you down? Or twenty-three? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Shell is currently down. However, you're um out of combat currently. I I will no. heal Pebble or Shell. Fuck. I'll heal. <laughs> but didn't Marin say at the start of the fucking fight to keep your distance? No, I'll, does, heal. Does, I I just I'll heal him for 20. I healed him for 20. Wait, I healed him Keep for your 20. distance so the moment everyone goes there, instead of casting like, you know, like a like a fire bolt, you, you cast the giant AOE gun fireball. to the entire party. I do not have fireball. You could have killed two of us. Pebble runs over, to, shakes the like uh the soot and stuff off of Shello healing him in the process. So Shello, you're back up. Yippee. You all, you all reconvene, gathering back over oh, at the gonna... carriage. Uh, Pebble sort of riding this beetle. Sana's behind the wall, I crying, love... just covering her face from the explosion and almost like just bleeding. You all see this dark, blackish, purpley rhinoceros beetle with crystal formations uh, on its horns, its its eyes, its elytra fused by these crystals that sort of go out of its back sort of making a bit of a uncomfortable-ish throne type thing for pebble to sit on as he rides it oh she's rocks she's used to it that's neat that rocks. Yeah, i love her boulder she's she's not she's not exactly like eager to to talk eager to uh to what's the, what's the fucking word die. debrief uh Pebble is very much like uh, keeping her distance still. After the giant sort of explosion, this fireball hitting the wood thing, it moan out as it crumples into just burnt logs mm-hmm. and smoke and fire and ash sort of covering a bit of the ground around. The bandits notice the fight is over and hop up and continue their conversation. What? What is this? What is this honky I feel like I've good. heard this about a hundred times before. That's crazy. Yeehaw. It was a joke because where I live, I hear similar uh, music I all the time. The, I get the reference. They they get up on these like sandstone ruins, looking down at you, reconvening at the carriage, and the bandit captain is like, 
Did you, did you take care of that thing? No thanks to you. Yeah, we did. Hey, I don't I don't have that. I don't have I got some sword zombie. Anyway, that's not important. We This is me and my buddy here. We overheard your your little conversation with Gone back in the capital about going to Fear and Ethan. So, you know, Krizzle's crew thought we might head the same way. And looky is here, it... we just happened to cross paths. Just so happened to? As you say that, he kind of glances over at the barrels, kind of blocking <laughs> the way, and then <laughs> looks back at you and is like, Yeah, so while we got you all here, I think we need to <laughs> renegotiate that payment a little bit. Oh, why what? exactly is you that? You want to renegotiate? You we see, the, the plan ground. ended up changing. Me and my friend here had to take one of those horses that we were riding uh, out of the capital on the carriage. We took one of them and we had to cause a second diversion because after yours, there were still some capital knights on our rear. Uh, we really put our lives on the line to save those kids. And we feel, you know, we're, we're happy those kids got the safety, but uh, the original compensation is didn't cover us uh, having to cause a second diversion for you all. So how about another 200 gold and we can all call it even. You can be square with Krizzle's crew. Um, That's not that bad, honestly, guys. It that is, is that bad. Is there... 200 gold we each have. Like, how much do we each have again? Is no, no. there by chance that these guys much. weren't actually here to help us, that they were actually here to possibly rob us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, can, that is what is being said here. You get that a true trust started. in the people. <laughs> oh, I'm not. W I'm would not I need to, um, um, actually, I'm can not. I use Detect Thought? Yeah. Are you doing it at the, on the Bandit Captain? Prison? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the surface thoughts you're getting from him, first of all, it's like, what the fuck was that thing? Uh, thank <laughs> oh, God that God. thing is gone, but we still, 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 he's got like money on the mind uh he's thinking about he's thinking back to when him and gone uh were riding in the carriage and he had to kind of diverge past because there were still some knights uh some of them had left from the version you guys has caused but some of them are mm -hmm. still on their tail so he had to cause a second diversion so uh from the tech thoughts you pick up that he's not lying or anything uh however he he feels from the tech thoughts, he, he's trying to get what's reasonable to him for the additional work for the job. Okay. Yeah, valid. Are you, See, are, that's are, what you, I'm are you starting to delve deeper or no? Um, fuck it, I'll do it. I'll keep it. Okay, he saves, and <laughs> he notices that you try to look into his mind. He's like, hey, get out of my head! The only the only person that can be in Krizzle's head is Krizzle! <laughs> Yeah. I like this guy. That's I like cringy. Crystal. I'm. Did you say that's cringy? Yeah. No, I like him. I'm trying to. He's funny. He's my boyfriend. No. No. He's probably like 20 years older than you. And? I'm trying to think. What? No, no, no. I'm trying to come up with a voice um, in my head. Sorry. A voice. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think what Shallow would sound like if he was a cowboy. <laughs> oh my God! That's... Wait, I cannot. If things, uh, if you guys don't choose to agree, make an enemy out of Krizzle's crew, uh, we got a backup plan. So we're glancing at the barrels again. Um, can I, um, can I intimidate him, just, like, to point out that we just, like, took down a giant fucking tree? <laughs> oh, what do you say to him specifically? You, you realize that this pile of burning wood behind me was all us, right? And you want to try and say that you'll make an enemy out of us <laughs> yeah roll uh, intimidation balthazar a real one oh, i'm okay, not rolling anymore Miran, today i'm Miran fucking do done i'm done <laughs> can Miran do the thing that she does where she just stands behind the person <laughs> uh yeah. no because you said that after he got yeah, the six okay. <laughs> um i i'm not rolling anymore today fuck it no more Hell. he's he's like well i see you took care of that and you know we appreciate it but uh, your horse is standing right next to those uh, explosive barrels. So it I seems we have the high ground. Wait, wait, right. where is he in relation to us? He's on where top of the... Uh, he's on top of one ruined building, the other guy's on top of the other one. Uh, same layout as what you had seen on the map. Right. Uh, those okay. are about like 20, 30 feet up. 
Okay. Can I go over to one of the barrels and start sniffing? <laughs> Make an investigation. <laughs> I got the Oh, natural oh, 20. Oh my god. You sniff these barrels and it sort of singes your nostrils. <coughs> Lance have nostrils? <laughs> <laughs> it singes your antenna as you Antles. pick up that uh, this no. smells very similar to the cannon that was in the Colosseum when you oh, originally shit. met your party members. <laughs> the one that the blew me the fuck up. Powder. <laughs> can I? Um, how can I forget? <laughs> can I now stand on top of the barrel? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And. I was gonna suggest, could I try and put on a show for the bandits? Oh my god. Oh my god. As in, like, balancing on top of the barrel, rolling it back and forward. Oh uh, yeah, make a performance Wow. Um, okay. While Shallow is doing this, can I sort of like... <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> they're looking at this, they're like, Indeed, oh, that's really cool, but maybe use your own barrels. Those uh, Don't don't mess with those too much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I want to keep um, doing it. He seems, he seems worried you're like fucking with the barrels. Would I, by any chance, be able to angle myself where they are lined up? <laughs> like, go around the building a bit? I think that'd be a bit challenging unless you go a pretty far distance out. I mean, wall shallows distracting him. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can probably sneak away and get into a position uh, while they're distracted that sort of gets them in a line. Uh, sort of like, probably have to go around like 60 feet away to sort of get the angle right. Okay. Uh, so, what is the... Trick shot? <laughs> um, oh, how far right? is the bandit captain from that position? I do like this music. Yeah, <laughs> the longer really it loops, fun. the less transgender I can feel myself becoming. What? Oh. Can someone just walk up to them and hand them 200 gold? No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, it'd be, it'd be 60 feet to the first bandit. It'd be additional 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet to the next one. Okay, that's, that's, that's within range. Sana's handing 200 gold. Oh my fucking, well, uh, I was gonna throw the fucking javelin of lightning. <laughs> because I can hit them both with it. Oh shit. Yeah, make an attack. As Sana's oh. reaching into her purse to pull out some gold, Marin takes out a javelin and begins to throw it. it 26. Sparks with electric, and that hits. Um, so for the first guy, because it's going through him, it's going to the captain. He fails the saving you throw. You um, attempting to impale both of them with the one So he thing. takes 15 <laughs> lightning damage. Okay, the, fir the first bandit takes 15. Uh, what about the bandit captain? It's going to first take 9, and then, and then it's going to take 15. Okay. <laughs> this guy dies instantly. <laughs> you... <laughs> Sano's currently reaching into her purse and begins pulling out some gold and starting to hand it toward the bandit captain as a javelin flies through the smoke <laughs> still emanating from this uh, this treant. Uh, as it flies through the air, it gathers like kinetic lightning charge and it strikes with lightning as soon as it hits the first guy. The javelin goes right through that guy's chest just burning right a hole right directly through his heart as it then lands into the bandit captain into like his stomach and then another lightning bolt hits him uh, and oh he's like God. oh fuck <laughs> and falls off of the building onto the ground the first bandit falls over dead but the second the bandit captain a crizzle is still alive but he's currently on the ground this javelin lunged uh, lodged into his stomach. Ooh. Jesus, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> He's like screaming on the ground. Oh, I'm really just gonna walk over. I wish I wasn't still balancing on this barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you can stop that whenever you want. Yeah, I don't wanna. Can everyone, can everyone uh, roll initiative real quick? Oh, god. oh. <laughs> When you say real quick, uh, I have a feeling you mean are, real. Are yeah. like I am... I am so sick of 
<laughs> we, we all pretty much got the same. I rolled in that one! What the fuck? Our horses None of us dead. actually care at all about this fight. We're just kind of here. <laughs> I mean, Mirren's done what she wanted <laughs> one to do. One wrong move, exactly. though. He just needs to get one thing off and our horse is dead. Yeah, well, I think I'm dead. Well, yeah, so. but he's still got a javelin lodged in his fucking stomach. Yeah. So, that's gonna that, be a little... Uh, if I have a javelin in his stomach, then that's impressive. Yeah, I I saw that I could do, like, a chain lightning thing. And I was like, fuck How yeah, much I'm gonna fucking horse do it. Uh, I thought it was 30. The horse 30? has 19. Oh. Oh no, the carriage no, has that, 30. the carriage has 30. Oh. Uh, okay. Did he kill our fucking horse? Did he kill our fucking horse? As soon as he, he hits, hits the ground, him. as soon as he hits the ground, he pulls uh, oh. what appears to be a makeshift horn out and blows into it, and that <laughs> blows, like, fire into these kegs. No. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shello. How much? How much damage is it? Uh, Shello, <laughs> can you make a dexterity saving throw? And Marin, can you make a dexterity saving throw for the horse? Barney. Uh, yeah. Is it just like? Oh shit! No. <laughs> oh, oh my fucking god. Fuck. I'm so upset. Can we heal Barney? Yeah. If he we... doesn't die. <laughs> Well, if if rest, if he doesn't rest die, in peace, can, Marnie. We, can we still get him up? Like if he gets his death saves. B. <laughs> if she gets her, is, is Barney a girl or she, a boy? Yes. Okay. Mm. This sucks. This is ass. I need to do you hear that, guys? Marin's playing us new horse. Let's go. No, I like Barney more. Barney. Barney like ain't uh, Barney ain't here anymore. This freak's supposed to barrels. Wait, what about her carriage? So, so Barney's how... here, there, everywhere. How do we feel about me torturing this man before he dies? Shello, what's your max yeah. HP? Oh no. <laughs> 34. Okay. <laughs> right. That doesn't make sure Shello didn't instantly die. Oh, actually, he saved. That's a thing? Oh. That's a thing? If you do, yeah. if you get double your health in, in one hit, you Holy instantly die. Shit. Oh my god, Just I like never knew that. No. Shello? Um, Shello, if you did not save that, you would have actually instantly died. Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god. I kind of wanted to oh fail. Oh my god! No! <laughs> the, he had the health from last left the over barrels, the other it means The barrels <laughs> just burst with fire, completely blows the horse's head off. <laughs> <laughs> Shello gets flung into the air and falls unconscious <laughs> on the ground uh, in front of you I'm, all. So I am dead. So yeah, you yeah, are I'm dead, out. dead. You're unconscious because the 66 damage was halved. Uh, how, oh, how's God. the carriage? Can, can we hook Boulder up to the carriage? We're gonna have to. We may have to. <laughs> that might be the only actual option. But that, 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 that also requires if we still have a carriage point. left. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Otherwise, we're walking. Oh my god, oh my god, if our carriage- Oh my god, this is gonna suck if our carriage is gone. Yeah, you guys should have thought about that. Yeah, absolutely fine. Fine. Because we Marin's... didn't pay him, which we shouldn't have paid him anyway, he was going to also still debt it... you. <laughs> No, Marin is paying for the new horse, the new carriage, the new everything. We pay for the this carriage was a gift to specifically on. to get you through the desert. Two hundred yep. gold. Yeah, is luckily, luckily the carriage is just out of reach of the explosion. Oh, thank <sighs> fuck. The bandit captain was in the explosion range though. <laughs> oh my god. Good. It explodes no, and like ignites like half of him, like Two Face. He's currently just on the ground. Half of him, like okay, but the other half is like burnt off. Like his skin just like melted off, <laughs> and he's just Dead. he's just mm. on the ground for uh, what looks like a very low amount of HP. <laughs> he's like, he's like, leave not have a... he's, like, leave him there. Blood he and ash. He's at two HP right now. Leave um, him there. He'll make he'll make for a good boss later down the line. It'll be a whole story. Hey, Leave you know, there. really I need would to make get my feel javelin better. out of his fucking stomach. You yeah, know, the javelin's really still in his stomach. Better. He's he's coughing up blood. He's like, <laughs> please wait. I also had 
information for you. Uh, please spare me. <laughs> you just killed our fucking horse. Why would we? Technically, <laughs> we killed our horse. Okay. No, no, we lit it. This, we lit this was entirely avoidable. It was definitely it was, avoidable. It's not the hill to stand on. It was very avoidable. I should be fair. I thought that he didn't have that much HP. And I'm the sorry, but Mer Well, yeah, but I'm the sorry, guy but didn't have any HP. I think we should waterboard him. Retrieving my fucking what? javelin. Oh, I you're right. That, you're, uh, that you are so right, Pebble. We should water. go into the into the carriage and get the um the water that we have to survive the desert. Now that yeah. we have to um we have no horse. Yeah, that we have to walk. Fuck. We have a beetle. We, have we don't have to walk, but you you beetle. Your beetle. We have a beetle that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pissed. Can, I'm so mad. Can your you beetle? Can your beetle pull the carriage? I'm so mad. I'm full of rage. Can your beetle pull the carriage? I don't even know. Can my beetle pull the carriage? It can. You just have to hook it back up. Oh my god. Guys, Boulder does not want to pull this carriage. Can we um? Oh, well. Can we prep the horse mate to at least eat then? Brother! <laughs> it's probably already cooked. cooked! I'm pretty sure it's already cooked. <laughs> That's a good crazy. Point. What are you doing oh, with that guy on the ground? Not, we're waterboarding. Uh, him. Leave, leave him there. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get the information out of him and then we'll waterboard him. What's, what's, that's the, not the order of comes before the information. No, okay, no, um, he's willing to give us the information, but I still want to waterboard not wasting, him. We're not Sana, wasting our water on him. Sana's going to walk over to the well and just start puking. <laughs> oh my god. Please, please, I, I, I didn't expect to actually use the barrels when you attacked me. These oh, barrels were, were, were Crizzle's crew's uh, supply to get us through the winter. It was just a bluff. What do you mean the supply to get you through the winter? They were explosive barrels. Can we, you could can we... really start off a campfire real well with that. <laughs> Let me put it from the perspective of Pebble. She summons a mount so she can try and get some distance because she just had an <laughs> argument and now she has to use said mount because her favorite horse got blown up your only horse there was there's no favorite situation okay here. still favorite my only horse is my also my favorite horse hold on i i need to change my notes here um our horse is white our dinner is white oh my god stop pebble is going to Look up at Marin, like, very slowly, and just be like, Did you seriously? Did you seriously just attack him when there were explosive barrels right next to our horse? Marin, what? I'm not dignifying that with her response. Shelly, can make your first death saving throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, oh maybe gosh. we should focus on that. 15. Okay, that's one success. I I'm just gonna, I'm gonna heal him for five. Okay. Shelly, you're back up. After Marin doesn't Shaking respond, more often. <laughs> Pebble looks over, just sort of like she 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 looks angry, uh, still even more now than she did before. How do you expect that we're going to get around? Or even if we use my mounts, how do you expect that? Why do you think I made that mount in the first place? I'm gonna be stuck again. She's just. Are you still just not responding? Yeah, Mirren's face is like her. Her expression kind of hardens, but she doesn't say anything. She's not glaring or anything. She she looks exactly like currently how you would expect a soldier to look. I look over at Balthazar, or actually Sana, since I saw her getting out uh, her purse, uh, and I'm like. Sana, I'm I'm not crazy, right? Like this is this is insane. There's no reason for for that to have happened, right? Shut up. What? All of you, shut the fuck up. I what the fuck is wrong with all of you? I I I I I, I why am I even here? Why am, you're all going to you're all going to kill each other? You're going to kill me? What the fuck is wrong with all of you? Sana we're... I'm sorry. I... 
I, 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 I don't know why I came along. I, 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 I thought I thought I could face my fears with all of you. I thought I, I, I thought I thought I could could get a new life. But no, I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die because all of you can cannot listen to each other. And, and oh my God, you're you're not gonna die. We're gonna be okay. Just, just an argument isn't gonna get you killed. We're, we're gonna be okay. An, an, an argument, an argument. You, you, you try to abandon, abandon us. Uh, uh, the, the fucking human over, over there. He, 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 he killed Shello and almost all of us in the process. Uh, uh, the Marin, Ma Ma Marin, <laughs> oh, killed Cholo too, and 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 the, our only transportation, and now we're stuck here, and I'm gonna die being with you guys. I'm sorry. I. I'm sorry, Sana. We're, we're not stuck here. It's we're okay. We still have, we still have my, my steed. Just, uh, I didn't, I didn't intend to make things so awful leaving. I'm sorry. She's having trouble making eye contact with Sana. As this conversation is happening, the guy on the ground is sort of crawling off, leaving like a trail of blood behind him trying to get away as you all are like distracted. Mir Mirren still looks really serious, but she looks extremely crestfallen as well and very guilty not exactly easy to tell um given her green complexion that she is paling but she is she is pale i i start i trusted all of you and then the moment i started to you and then she looks dead at um uh pebble you uh, abandon us and run away and 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 looks like she then points towards um Marin. You 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 can't even talk to us. You can't even tell us what's happening. And then you make this decision. And then she doesn't even bother looking at Balthasar or Shello. Marin sort of flinches when Sana says that. I would like to uh, walk over to the bandit captain and kill him, please. <laughs> So he's currently, he, he's gotten far enough where he's crawled into a nearby building that looks a lot larger than the others. You kind of like look at the ground where he went and you see this trail of blood and just dirt moved, pushed to the side as, his, as he pulls his body along the ground. And you find him inside this uh, ruins of a, a large building with like a statue at the end of it. The statue is a... Uh, is kind of crumpled, but it seems to be of a large, round woman. Her like hands positioned on her stomach, a face looking down, and he's just at the bottom of this statue, uh, kind of resting against the steps up to it, heavily breathing and and spitting up blood on the ground. I want to kill him. Please, I have information that you might need where you're going. Make an attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, uh... God damn I'm it. At 20. Oh, oh my yeah, god. <laughs> Do we get to speak with seven. Ed or? <laughs> that is a, uh, a doubled seven. How do you want to kill this man on the ground begging for his life? Uh, I want to... I'd like to slice his neck and then almost immediately start going through his possession. <laughs> this this guy gets it. You like cut his neck and he brings it up and like is like choking on his own blood. He's saying, Don't run mercy! And he falls to the ground dead. Oh shit. God damn it. In a pool of his own blood and. On him, make a investigation check. Okay. TBHers sucks for him. Okay, you find a playing card set, as well as a scimitar and a dagger. See, see, my 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 point exactly. You guys cannot 
do anything with each other you, can, you guys cannot communicate or listen and 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 apparently the person had inf information that you all needed not me because i have nothing to do with any of your fucking shit like one of your party mates that you killed twice is is is, is not listening to you guys yeah, he's looting him as his blood kind of pools and these cracked ruined steps uh some of the blood splattered across the statue of the woman's uh, some uh, vines growing up one of the woman's legs that are folded uh in front of her crisscross can both of turn his back to stana and start leading the um leading um uh, pebble steed to the um to the carriage to start tying it off yeah it doesn't listen to you it's just like standing in place like I'll... yeah you try to move it and it's just not budging balthazar she she sort of places her hand on the forehead of boulder it sort of like closes its eyes and and nuzzles against her hand and then she says sana we're not we're not great none of us are really as as a group as a team as anything but i don't think any of us belong anywhere else truthfully even with fighting and as much as we've argued i i care about you all and i you don't even know me i care about none of you know who i am we know enough what you all all i've been doing this whole trip is follow your all lead i i have no reason to to be here right now you cannot then say why i are belong you here? with you huh why are you here because i thought i could escape no i i thought you i could... joined us you were hiding in the capital you came willingly sana you don't get to pick and choose if you don't I like it, after this is over, you can go back to the capital and you can stay there. I, I you're right. I did, I, I did, I did choose. I, I thought, I thought I could find something that I've, I've been looking for my whole life. And Especially what? You think this you. is all sunshine and rainbows? I understand what, what, what we're, what, what we're getting ourselves into after, after that house with the children. I understand. What I didn't account for is us killing each other. The house of the children. Donna, that was not even the surface of what the world is at, like outside those fucking walls. I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about us. All right, gang, where are we off to next? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sana. I. I don't know you truthfully very well, but I do. I do care about you. Maybe I don't have to know someone super well to care about them. I, I don't imagine that someone who isn't worthy of my trust would stick around even if it means hurting people and being hurt and again i i don't know where else any of us belong this is a group of people who really just need someone i need someone i can tell you do and maybe we're not always the best. Maybe we don't always treat each other the best. But I I try. Even through arguments, I try. Do you understand? Uh this whole looks time, uh Sana's had like a just a dead eye expression, just like staring directly at everyone. And and through the mood ring, you always got anger, but but she looks she looks down she she finally like breaks gaze and just looks down and you just you, the mood ring just has like a bunch of sadness in it oh oh that was a sick backflip earlier sana <laughs> that's true that, that was a sick backflip eyes just widened for like a second <laughs> and then she just walks towards the cart and sits down uh, at this point, Pebble will begin to guide Boulder over to the to the, the harness thingy. Yeah, it takes you a few minutes to sort of get Boulder set up because uh, it wasn't really harness is, is 
kind of a a a tight fit, but you're able to get it set up for bolter or to um to drag this this carriage behind. You unhook a Barney. Uh, its legs still twitching from its head being blown off. God, poor Barney. You do notice that Boulder has a much easier time pulling this because uh, Boulder is a lot stronger than Barney the horse. However, it, it takes you a bit to get it hooked up into this. So if you were in a situation where you had to get Boulder out fast in order to mount him something like that or mount, mount her something like that, um, it, it would take uh, a few minutes. So not not the best sort of predicament there, but uh, in the end, you do get Boulder set up. She's gonna uh, pet Boulder for a moment. I'll let her know to listen to Marin, and, and then approach Marin very very slowly. Her gaze is sort of downcast, but not like looking directly down. She looks like almost vacant, like lost in thought. But she she... she looks like genuinely distraught is she sitting in the carriage or like on a rock or she just standing around okay just, standing. just okay uh pebbles gonna walk up to marin and just like stand there for a moment and then say i'm i'm sorry marin i really wasn't thinking straight earlier I shouldn't have blown up on you. Especially especially not after our horse blew up. It's <laughs> sorry. Fuck. I was Very trying to poetic. So hard not to laugh. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to laugh. I didn't mean to blow up, you know, like our horse. <laughs> Look at that dumbass horse. I'm, <laughs> fuck. I'm trying to keep this paper. I get it if you're still upset. I mean I'm Still, kind of, but I, I care about you. I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you, and I don't blame you. Pebble looks over, not having noticed the statue before, probably forgetting it was there. Obviously, she would have known at one point, and she sort of like, her eyes widen, quite a bit, and she sort of like holds back like a gasp she covers her mouth this is probably the first time that she's seen a depiction of biore since she left Felsenstad. would that would that be an accurate yeah, assumption that'd be accurate, yeah okay um and seeing the statue especially with the corpse at the foot of the statue she sort of like turns away still standing near it but like trying to avoid looking at it and she she her voice is very very shaky as she talks to shallow she says cello go go back to the ca carriage please the man had cards oh okay she she's like she usually would entertain him and like <laughs> like talk about the cards perhaps but she's she's shaken to her core. She sort of pats his back to get him to head back, like like giddy up, haya. I guess I'll I'll uh, walk away from the body, then start walking back to the carriage. Pebble like walks up to the foot of this statue and uh, stares for a moment before. Whispering under her breath, like, she, she sort of whispers, like, in guard, save me. And then she, she, she kneels down and she begins to talk. She says, Biori, I don't know if this can even be heard or anything, really, but I... Please forgive me for everything that I've done. And she uh, holds her amulet and says, I hope despite finding new light, I can still be deemed as good. As you're looking up at the statue, uh, you, 
your head kind of down as you say your prayer, then look up. You're kind of crouched next to this dead body currently. Uh, oh, the blood splattered yikes. up on the statue, but some of the blood seems to have gotten a little bit high on the statue. Uh, weirdly, uh, sort of under one of its eyes, a small droplet of blood is kind of going down the cheek, and then it falls off the face of the statue, hitting a leaf of a vine sort of crawled up the leg of the statue and kind of splashing oh, against geez. that leaf and as you kind of touch your holy emblem the gemstone it's attached to kind of glistens for a second oh that's scary i i'm i'm worried about the the all right the the fact that it's a, a tear of blood seems like a bit of an ominous foreshadowing, but regardless, she sees that, and uh, as she stands up and turns back to the carriage, people seeing her approach will see. It definitely looks like she's been crying. Uh, she also just looks shaken a bit. She's holding her amulet still. Um, and then without telling the others about her little run-in with this uh this god of this statue of a god she's gonna she's gonna hop into the carriage also for the for orientation on uh the the cart uh sana will be probably towards the back away from everybody just hood up head and uh head and knees i'll sit beside sana as uh Pebble gets into the cart. I want to whisper to Sana. Rock Lady was talking to herself. Sana's Sana's head, just like you know, you see in the hood, this fabric move a bit. It could have been the wind, but you hear the slightest bit of like air coming out of her nose. <laughs> that makes <laughs> sense. Like a, oh my god! Like a, <laughs> oh my lord! It's very faintly. It could have been the wind, though. Must have been the wind. Time. Someone farted. Is Marin <laughs> departing now that everyone's in the carriage? Yeah, after everyone gets on, Mirren, um, Mirren climbs up and gets going. Departing so. from Feltonstadt. Whoa! Holy guacatoli! Looking, <laughs> looking at your map, uh, there's a mark of the Dawn Trotters symbol in the desert, sort of above Firin, Ethan, that... Uh, Chasmir had marked as the location of the Dawn Trotters hideout. Hell yeah. Oh, but where are you all going? Sorry, this song is so fucking good. Anyway, Dude, uh, it goes hard. <laughs> um, I believe we're trotting. Um, there, I suppose, to the Dawn Trotters symbol. Okay, so going past the valley between these mountains uh, beyond Feldenstadt. You approach what appears to be more of a sandy portion of the desert. Marin, can you go ahead and roll a d20 and add your proficiency bonus? Uh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> next, okay, you out natural of one plus three. After a bit of travel uh, going into the desert, it seems a sandstorm begins to pick up. Oh, shit. And Marin, you're having a lot of difficulty seeing the terrain, and a few hours pass, the sandstorm fades, and you realize you have no idea where you are. Oh, fuck. I know. You, all you see are sand dunes, the sun beating down on you at the front of this uh, carriage. It's very hot. You're beginning to sweat quite a bit. Um, everything just sort of looks the same currently. Awesome. Let's stand, stand, and oh. sand. Honestly, killing the horse and getting a beetle might have been the smart option here. I'm gonna look at the placement of the sun in the sky, I suppose. I don't know how early or- I suppose it would probably be a little bit later in the day, right? It's about midday currently. So the sun's like no help. Yeah, yeah. no, it's not any help at all. Can both of them, like, crawl up the front of Marin to see what's going on? 
I guess, yeah, because Mirren would have stopped at this point because she doesn't want to. Yeah, uh, Balsar notices the carriage stops. You poke your head out and you notice that uh, you guys are no longer on like a a road. Uh, you're just mm. in the middle of some dunes. What's going on? We're, we've are we been going for a few hours longer than we should have. Mirren just kind of sighs and looks around. You're lost, aren't you? Man, size again, nods. <laughs> Looking over at the map. I guess we will at a reasonable pace until we can maybe see some form of landmark or sign of like path. Okay, is that what Marin's doing then? Just going one direction until you reach something? Yeah. Okay, then both Marin and Balthazar make perception checks as you're kind of keeping. Watch as you're going. 21. 21. Okay. I don't know why I rolled. <laughs> I know it's gonna be low. <laughs> His dice are actually fucked. So, Marin, Cause... going through these dunes, you spot some glistening coming from a little bit of ways away to like your your left. Marin's gonna um, tap Balthazar's arm and point towards. The, the flashing. What is it? Probably approach it slow. We don't know what that thing is. As you approach it, you approach it slowly, and it begins to look like a brass obelisk poking through the sand. The sun's kind of flashing against the metal, which is what you saw. It seems that some um, kind of more, some more ruins kind of poke out around it as you get even closer this grass obelisk uh is is pretty high up it's probably around like a hundred feet into the sky yeah let's um roll up to it i guess you arrive to it you just see that it's it seems to continue going further into the sand like it seems to be sunken down below as well as some of the other ruins that seem to be more uh, constructed out of like stone, sandstone around it. They seem to just be ruins of something that are also sunken down below. When we get close to it, does it have like any symbols or carvings on what ruins we can see? Make a investigation check. Wow, a high roll. Crazy. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. So you actually notice that on one side of this obelisk, there seems to be a small inscription with a circular like disc oval shaped indents about thumb size about five foot five up this inscription it says use me to say hello use me to say goodbye of no use to one but bliss for two what? What? Hmm. some kind of communication device it would appear is it is is it just a big sending stone that Did we would... literally just come across this world's equivalent of a payphone? You can make an arcane <laughs> arcana check. <A> payphone! <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, nine? Wonder. Nine, you're not getting that it's magical in a sense of a sending stone. You should try touching it. I wonder. I mean, I've used stopped. brain, now I use At this point, the again. carriage has stopped because Balser has had to get out to look at this. Mirren, do you want to come up poke this thing? Maybe it needs two people? Yeah, Mirren's, Mirren's going to come over. Uh, we're just going to, like, touch it, I guess? See yeah, if I guess it we're like, both gonna put our hand lights over. up or there's some shit? Touching the, like, circular indent below the phrase? Yeah. Touching it, uh, the brass is, like, extremely hot to the touch. It, like, burns your hands. You kind of flinch touching it, but as you both put your hands to it nothing seems to happen like mm. well, like hot in a magical way or hot like it's because the sun, the sun is burning a brass okay. obelisk and it's I'm... just a, a single circular indent in it yeah it's like a disc shaped uh more oval than really circular uh but it's it's about head height um it's a little bit uh it's pretty small it's only a few inches big but it's just sort of a indentation in it pebbles gonna put her head in it and the indents. Uh, How small. big do you think your head is? Not... I don't know. I just... 
<laughs> no, well, <laughs> the indent also is not deep. It's just like basically the same way there's an indentation to carve the words. It's about that deep. I think I know what you're meant to do here, but also I'm assuming by my answer, I'm not shallow isn't able to do this. If you know what yeah, the answer I, is, tell us. It could be fun to wait and see if everyone else can figure it out. No, yeah, yeah, that's oh. You do this okay. too much. <laughs> use yeah, me I'm to waiting. say hello. Use awesome. me to say goodbye. Of no use to one, but bliss for two. Oh, yeah, wait. okay, got it. <laughs> wait, wait. Use me to say hello. Use me to say goodbye. Of no is use just, for one. Is it just oh, two is it a wave? A, string? a wave? Is that the answer to the... Oh. That doesn't make... I mean, that fits the first part, but I feel like that doesn't fit the second part. I mean, I mean, what about a, a wave fun? isn't very useful. You wave to... to someone, you don't wave to no one. Yeah, exactly. That's oh. what I mean. Bliss... I wave to myself. That's not really, you don't really get bliss from a wave. Some people Wait. are simple like that. Yeah, like Wait, me. no. <laughs> you got it. Peanut, please on. tell me this isn't a fucking kiss. Yeah! Oh my god! Wait. Oh. Kiss that I just metal. Made, that makes I imagine Shella like air humping oh, saying, Yeah, no. you got it! <laughs> oh no. Oh my oh. god. Wait, I was oh, just no. thinking we have to kiss the indent. Yeah. That's I mean, I mean, I guess, but who's gonna do it? I'm not fucking burning my lips on this shit. I am. I'll, Pebble kisses the indent. Okay, Pebble, you put your lips up to it. Even though your skin is, like, rocky, it's still skin, so it, it starts to burn your skin oh. as you put your lips up to yeah. the indent. Uh, but, no when, fun. but when pressing your lips to it, after a moment, a metal plate uh, that had the phrase indented onto it slides to the side, revealing a telescope that is now up to your eyes oh. within the obelisk. And... Looking through the telescope, make a perception check. Yay! I get to make a check. Okay. <laughs> just the Where? sun's on the other side just burns your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you see the hidden second That'd sun. Be really fucking fun. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> you can see the, I the got sun that the day comes out at night. Oh yeah. A six. Your, it's this thing is so hot. Your lips begin to burn. They become fused to the metal. Oh. And it pains you so much, you're having a lot of difficulty looking at where this sort of goes. And before you can really get your bearings where this is pointed at it, the thing then closes. Oh shit! <laughs> your lips stuck to this obelisk. I, I, I oh, was very no. glad not to kiss that thing. You know Jeez. the direction, the general direction this telescope pointed, but you could not see what it was looking at. She, she's sitting here, she's going. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use frostbite on the. Um... Obelisk near the lips, like, help remove it. Oh my god, you're gonna freeze her lips off. That sort of counteracts the heat for a moment, and it releases Pebble's lips, and she kind of, like, falls backwards under her butt under the sand. <laughs> Fuck! Or some of her, oh, some of her lip skin sort of ripped off. <laughs> oh my god, that hurts so bad. Balthazar, you're my savior. Ow, after she's done wallowing in her shame, she goes, There, there was... A, a telescope i it was pointing like that direction and she she points in the general area and she's like i i think maybe it, it was it really hurt then i guess we'll head in that direction can we check out some of the ruins or are they like all sunken they're mostly underground you're only really seeing like the tops of walls and roofs it seems like mm -hmm. uh sana's is gonna like just reach through her uh, cloak sort of to the side where Shello is and it's going to be the green necklace and just say, and just whisper you dropped this. Oh! oh. Thank you very oh, much God. money bags! Marin, are you headed in the direction that Pebble had pointed out? Yeah. Okay, can you roll a perception check now? 21. You begin getting more confident uh, traveling through the desert. This carriage seems to keep its weight well in the sand, not sinking down or anything. It seems the adjustments made work quite well. And as you're looking around, uh, you spot a golden obelisk that you now see pointing out of the oh. sand. But you also get a glimpse of what looks like a small furry creature kind of moving oh. around it. And then it goes out of your line of view, but eventually you approach this golden obelisk that also points out of the sand, same sort of height as the 
brass one. Would you describe this furry creature perchance as friend shaped or foe shaped? It was hard to really get a look at Damn it. It. A it, beast. it seemed it seemed very small. <gasps> a friend. A foe. When, when you appro- when you her. approach though, you do not see any <laughs> tracks in the sand around the obelisk. Interesting. Must be a sand farer. Am I the only one that saw that then? That's the only you're the only one that saw actually the only one, yeah, looking out and looking for right. this. Thing. Pebble I, just sensed a friend. I like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like to imagine. I like to imagine Pebble and Shallow are playing cards with the cards that he got off of <laughs> no. the dead guy. I hope they fly away. We're not. We're oh, not we're not. Oh. Not with you. <laughs> but you, <laughs> you arrive to the obelisk. Uh, more walls and roofs, sort of poking poking through the sand again, but not not uh, high up enough where you can really see what they are you can't really get to the insides of these things you just kind of see remnants of them um but getting out you see um a lot larger on this obelisk is a pattern engraved into it a pattern of various circles and dots and then under the this design you spot what appears to be dwarvish script oh Someone called Balthazar. Under that even is a is a small slot about uh, only around like an inch in length that seems to go deep into the obelisk, not like just an indent. It seems to actually go inside of it. This is what the pattern looks like. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> oh, it looks like Ooh. intersecting circles have dots. Ooh. Um, I know, that's just not true. Uh... Balthazar, you read the Dwarvish script, being the only one that knows Dwarvish. It says, of course you would. Toll of the Ferryman. Oh, Ferryman. It's like Charon. Dude, Balthazar beating why, these short allegations. Why are we getting Ferryman fucking shit here if we're in the fucking desert? Nowhere near a fucking shipyard. Oh, I fucking wonder. Water. I wonder. <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I put my foot in the, the hole? I mean, you can try to fit your, like, toes into it but they don't really go that deep into the oh, i just realized okay. he probably has toes exoskeleton toes uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's only one of the circles with the dots in them isn't connected to another like doesn't have the circle oversecting yeah i was gonna i was gonna say i because i said all of the dots are inside of multiple circles but then i realized that's not true only one... one of the dots is also covered by three circles. Yeah. I'm confused. The... I don't understand this. The ferryman's hole. The ferryman. If, it, if it's actually... Wait, how many... Did you say it was I mean... multiple slots or just the one that's like, a co- like an inch deep? There's only one slot. It's not an inch deep. It's an inch opening. It goes into the obelisk. You can't really see how deep it goes. Oh. How big is a gold coin? A gold coin would fit into it. Would any mm-hmm. coin? Fit no, any coin would fit into it. Okay, I'm I'm wondering if this is just a, a puzzle of which coin. The look of coins in this world is each one copper, gold, silver. They're all pretty much worth their weight uh, in their raw material. They're circular coin shaped, usually stamped with some symbol, typically the king's face, creating sort of a concave in it, uh, but the, some of them are misshapen a bit just because the molding of them isn't perfect, but they, they are round for the most part, and all around the same size. Can both so, put like one gold coin in there? Whoa, we pro- should yeah, we do that put a gold we coin in and you hear it kind of slide in and then like a kathunk sound. Well... Someone got a nice donation. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm like, sh- can I ask if the different values of coins are different sizes? Uh, they all seem to be around the same size. Okay. Just made a different I'll material. remove that one. I'll remove that one. Oh, so oh, I was yeah. testing the circle that intersects. The one that doesn't have any that has the dot. So. Yeah, that's yeah, but I don't know Maybe what that not. means. But did you think that meant one gold? Yeah. But that could be like one silver. 
like this you the medium one. or the small the small circles could be silver and the big circles could be gold oh so that's cool. one gold two silver no you think? Well, there's also no? platinum you have to worry about well i don't that's think true. there's only two different sizes there's only two sizes so one it would be seven silver and one two three four gold i don't know how are you getting these numbers the sizes of the circle what's what's in small circles and then what's in big circles so four gold and seven silver can i I, try that at the very bottom uh, close to like the ground the sand after you put these in, there's a, there's a small thing at the bottom that opens and drops out a piece of metal onto the sand. This piece of metal, oh. it, it seems that within this obelisk, all these coins were melted together into something. However, it looks oh. like it came out wrong. It looks like parts of it had bubbled and then dried to be misshapen and, and strange. It looks like it's uh, meant to be a certain bubbles. emblem, but it just comes out as a mess of gold and silver. So we're supposed to put a correct type of coins in, and that type of coin, that type and amount of coin will melt into an emblem. I see. Wait, I so... still don't know the answer, because I'm fucking stupid, but... Can, can we look at the... the little misshapen thing yeah make an investigation what... check you got 19. so looking at it it seems like uh almost seems like it's meant to be a uh design of a key except some of the metal has kind of bled over and it has caused it to be like misshapen the silver kind of like messing it up a bit and like bubbling weirdly so I guess How we're are only the golden parts are okay. I guess we're only no. supposed to put gold then. Maybe do we just try four gold this time instead of five? Well, yeah, okay. Go four, yeah. four gold. Then. Do you want me to put it in? Uh, you put two, and I'll put two in. Okay. After waiting a few moments, another one pops out, and it seems to only be the base of the key. Uh, we did need five oh, gold. Like maybe we need platinum. You, you really want to waste the platinum coin? Well, we've already put more than 10 gold in here. Do you any of you have platinum? No, that's no. why we're going to pick on Sana to do it. Well, he, okay. said, he, said, he said the gold parts were perfectly fine. Yeah, the silver is what was like kind of bubbly and messed up. Okay, so... That's what and I'm not... Saying. not if Platinum's kind of harder to come by, so I feel like the more common person, if they were accessing this would have gold. The silver seemed to have been heated incorrectly when it went into the mold. However, the gold was fine, um, but it was kind How of much... bled over. We How still haven't tried copper? copper. How much copper does everyone have? Let's see. Copper's got a lower melting. It's going to do the same thing as the silver did. Putting just yeah. gold in there is, is clearly not good enough. What, we probably didn't was, put enough gold in there. What I was thinking was the um, the other obelisk we found was copper. It was brass. I guess that does make brass, sense because brass. Oh, yeah. it was brass, but brass. <laughs> this brass. one's gold. Okay. <laughs> and this one's gold. Do we have any brass stuff? I assume not. No. But peanut, it, w it only had enough gold to fill up the base of the thing. It didn't do the rest of it. Putting it up to the other one, it seemed to have only been the base. It was not finished. Okay. So five gold. Uh, yeah, we can do. We'll put five gold in there. Okay. Wait. Who's putting the five gold in? I'll, I'll put five gold. Okay, you put five gold in, and it seems to be slightly more, but still not enough. There's six dots. Oh, There's six dots. Uh, why don't, fuck why it, don't I'll, we put, do... I'll put six gold in. Six no, this... gold, slightly more, but still not enough. Oh my god. Uh, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine big circles. Do we have to put uh, fucking nine gold in here? Are you going to put nine gold? Wait, hold on. These unfinished gold pieces, are they still small enough to put back in? No. Fuck! I'll tell you real quick, last um, time I threw a puzzle in and you did it this way of just like hard doing it like one 
at a time you eventually got it um but now when you're doing the solution to the puzzle wrong i'm making it cost money that's, that's fine yeah. <laughs> that's that's i i see why you're doing I have, such a thing uh, i have no monetary worth in the party i don't i don't this get it really good i really don't and I that's only like know sitting here with a new puzzle book he just bought. He's like, why did you guys get it? <laughs> I only know two can things I, in there, I, eat hot chip and lie. Can I just put in 12 gold pieces? Oh my god. You put in 12 and coming out of the slot from the bottom is a perfectly made key with no spillage, no pieces missing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, wait, wait, we just have a key. What the fuck did we do with a key? You motherfucker. No, You're what supposed the fuck to is count it? uh how many circles the dots enter. Because they were different cir but because they were different sizes, I was counting uh I was like justifying oh one of them has to be silver. Yeah, the but the main thing with Shall I make a investigation I... check on this uh correct looking key? Okay, mm -hmm. doke. What do we even do with About it? About three. Can I throw it back in the sand? Uh, all you see no. on it is a... Um, it looks like a golden key, and then it has a inscription on the base that seems to be written in a language you don't know. It's a good game. Okay, oh. I'll just throw it away, then. No, no, oh, no. my God. No. It's broken. It's not, not broken. broken. You're broken. I speak common, elvish, gnomish, and primordial. Um, you'd probably pick up knowing those language is. You'd pick up that this is halfling. Oh, okay. <gasps> well, oh, I'm going to yeah. uh, uh, to end you, Pete. Let's in the cart. Let's go to Sana. <laughs> okay, well, Good. Pebble's going to go get Sana because she knows that Sana speaks halfling and uh, is going to be like, hey, Sana, I have this thing here, this key. It has halfling on it. Would you be so kind as to as to uh, help us figure out what this means. When oh, I glance what it, at it, what does it say? It says, all it says is west. Oh, that's helpful. Would I, would I know what direction Easy. west is? Make a survival Easy. check looking at the sun in the sky after more hours have passed. 11. 11? You think you might know. You think you <laughs> might know. Uh, Fuck. Peanut, yeah. quick question. Um, can I put 15 gold pieces into this machine? A misshapen key. Why? I just, I just, I just say quietly to, um, to Pebble, just say West. I'll head over to the others and I'll be like, guys, the, the, the book, or, or not the book, the key, it, it says West on it, apparently. Sana just told me. This, this thing, it, it's broken. It's not broken. We have the key right here. You just drop West? West is a direction. Can I make a, a survival check? Yeah. For... Okay. Do we have a compass? <laughs> you don't have All a compass, right. No. I'm seven. Pebble, you're looking up at the sun, and it just starts to burn your eyes. <laughs> it's uh, it's that way, and she points up at the sun. Ba Balthazar, which direction is west? I can't remember. Go towards the sun. So, towards the, that know. will really hurt. I don't want to do that. No, don't look at the sun. It like in the direction of the sun. Yes. I don't think. I don't think Boulder can fly. No. <laughs> He's a beetle. We will get on the carriage, and while still on the ground, head in the same direction the sun is going down. Huh? She has no fucking. Marin, are you going me. west? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna okay. go west. So, Marin, can you make a other perception check? Yeah. Fuck. Seven. You guys go for a little bit. What seems like too long is the other two obelisks were fairly close to each other, and you and you think you may have actually passed it. So it's seeming you've been going for a little bit too long. Uh oh. Mm. However, eventually you come up on something that is too big not to miss because it seems to be. A giant ruins of a a building kind of half inside a like big dune uh oh with the entrance doors kind of like knocked over hmm. we're going in did we get a short last on the, on the carriage 
Do we just uh, yeah, sure, you guys can probably have taken a short rest except for... Yeah. Um, heck freaking yeah! We're taking the carriage into the The building? carriage can fit in, yes. Damn! The, the building right. is big enough. I think we should. The doors at the entrance lost... were massive, just like knocked over. I think this We've is- We've lost one sound. animal, we're not losing yeah. another. No, we're not lo I we're not losing Boulder, I swear to god. If if we can, if we can any, summon Boulder. You... Oh yeah, true. Let's lose Boulder. No, 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 no. <laughs> is Marin going into the building? Gally Pebble we're says yes. In, going into the ruins, buried under the sand as you go and it's kind of at like a slant. But it seems very empty in here. There's some broken vases and some diagrams on the wall, just like patterns of what appears to be swirling kind of patterns painted in red on the walls seems very barren besides in the very middle of this keep is a sort of hatch with a golden plated keyhole on it Ooh. well we have a golden plated key so pure gold key oh true 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 I guess, uh, do I, I guess if I still have the key, I will, uh, gingerly insert the golden key into the golden keyhole. Alright, doing so, it turns naturally, and you open it up into what seems to be a, a staircase going down into a underground chamber. Ooh, oh, is it dark? It's fairly dark down there, yeah. Fuck, okay. I don't want to go first, I'm scared. As you open I'm the doors, the, the, the dust on the ground kind of wind goes through and pushes a bunch of dust on the ground that kind of goes up into a little bit of a uh, foggish looking dark scenery in, at the bottom. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, light, first? I'll light my lantern. Yes, please. All right. uh, I'll go after Shallow as long as I'm not first, I don't mind. Mirren's probably going to be in the back. So I'll just start walking in like a couple feet behind uh, Pebble. Walking in, uh, Pebble shining the light for those that don't have dark vision, you see that this chamber uh, is a big open chamber. Uh, all that's in here that you can see currently is a mechanism on a pedestal in the very middle of the room. This mechanism looks like a hourglass. It's held in a harness by two chains that attach to either side of the walls, about halfway up the rooms, like 50 feet up, with some sand inside the hourglass. That's terrifying. The harness making it so the, the hourglass can still spin freely forward and back while hooked up to this harness. Uh, are the walls barren? Is there any, like, like uh, silly, like, mech like, part of the mechanism that goes onto the walls, like a lever? No. Oh. It's just a pedestal with a hourglass on top uh, in a harness that's attached to the two chains, those going into the walls. Two chains. All right. Uh, and, and it's at the level where I could I could touch, perchance, this yes, hourglass. Yes, the, the, the pedestal is at, like, uh, arm level, you know. Okay. Or, it, well, I guess if Shallow's going first, Shallow, are you doing anything? Yeah, I want to go uh, flip the hourglass. Okay. Oh God. You flip the oh, hourglass. No. Doing the so... starts filling with sand. Immediately causes a door to close from behind, sealing you oh, into fuck. this room. The oh, pedestal fuck. then lowers into the ground, the hourglass still held up by these chains. But then these chains quickly get pulled and the hourglass is moved into the very middle of the room suspended into the air by these two chains uh and then from the very top uh in a similar sort of uh way the pedestal went into the ground a opening opens in the top and sand begins pouring into the room oh fuck. <laughs> god damn it god damn it <laughs> god damn it and that's and what are you guys why... doing Oh, 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 I thought that, okay. The uh, room is currently filling that, with sand. I'm, I'm I thought that was a cliffhanger. No, the room is currently uh, filling with sand. Uh, is the uh, hourglass within our reach? No, it's in the, the this room is like 100 feet tall. It's currently oh, in the very fuck. middle, um, suspended in the air. Um, um, Look. um, um, I can't even, like, cast Fireball to try and, like, turn it into glass, because, haha, I got no spell slot left for it. Oh, no. Oops. 
Oh, fuck. Okay. The sand is now um, currently covering your feet. Okay. Uh, um, it, can we still see the hourglass? Yeah, it's just suspended in the air. Can I shoot acid splash at the chain to try and, like, break it off of the chain? Oh, smart. You splash the chain with acid. It starts to dissolve the metal, but not all the way through. Fuck. Well, I could shoot the. Should I shoot the actual hourglass and and like try and break it, or is that Probably a really not. really bad idea? Well, what? Not. If the hourglass is the mechanism that's it faster. And if you break it and nothing happens, we're fucked. How okay. far is it off the ground? Fifty feet into the air. Ooh, can Marin throw me that far? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I, I could <laughs> throw a hand axe at the chain. Well, I mean, I don't. He's like made it very there. clear. An axe is stronger than okay. The sand is currently yeah. up to your ankles. I don't. I. I, I genuinely. I, what's 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 around us in the room? Son, I make a perception check. Thirteen. Thirteen. Looking around the room, you're not seeing any like furniture, any like designs on the walls, anything like that. But then you notice what appears to be a bit of a crack in the wall, not like a jagged crack it's like uh, a very thin line through the wall close to the ceiling like a crack of like a door frame or something letting a, a teensy amount of light through that you spot oh huh. uh like um like high up on the wall not the ceiling high up high up on the wall close to the ceiling 90 feet up uh, i just start waddling towards there and pointing out to everybody is it how, so it's it's a small indent it's not big enough for anyone to fit through it's not like an actual about, hole in the wall no it's it's about in the shape of like a square you can make out a corner of it it's like a slit in the wall as if there's a place between bricks that is not lined up correctly okay okay it does I, not appear to be a crack it appears to be intentionally made okay the sand is currently up to your knees just looking through my inventory, the only things that I even have that would help are, like, the apartment key, which takes ten minutes to use, and, like, I don't know, I can't think of, besides yeah. waiting for the sand to go up 90 feet and then going through that hole. Well, I assume the sand is soft. We wouldn't really be able to get oh. purchase on it. Are we not able to get purchase on it? Purchase? Yeah, like... Yeah, are we not able to get You're, you're able to, like climb on top of the sand uh, you, you kind of sink slowly in but you can get a good enough footing as you can on like sand dunes or something like that so we Ooh. might be able to just well but i don't think the solution to this is just waiting i bring a loria out and tell her to fly up there and have a look i mean she flies up she sees the um hourglass still in this harness attached to the chain suspended 50 feet up mm -hmm. Can I get her to flip it over? Yeah, you flip it over, and then you all feel the room begin to rotate. Huh? Oh, we're in an hourglass. And it slowly rotates to the point where you are flipped to the other side, uh, with uh, sand now coming from a different hole on, on the ceiling that is now used to be the ground for you. Uh, the hourglass no. still suspended in the middle of the room. So we are quite literally in an hourglass. It would Wait, appear. It's yeah. it's the whole the indent what? is that it, you can see sunlight through it still. Yeah, it, it, it appears it appears light is shining through it. Still. So so the whole room rotated. It's not like like the entire room. How, yes. how is that possible? Well, I guess magic, but. Wait, so look, I I want to clarify. We can still see light through it even after the whole room has been flipped. Yes. Yeah. Can we How have the hourglass it? on its side? What the sand will go through the hole. Oh. Right. Maybe. I mean, it's worth a try. That? I don't. Uh, how would? Hmm. How would we um, balance it like that? I'd, I'd say just get a lawyer to try and hold it up. Can I get a lawyer to hold it sideways? 
Yeah, it rotates to this sort of like halfway position from what it did before. So where that slit is, is now on the ground for you all. Um, but sand starts pouring through another new hole in the ceiling. The sand up to your waist currently. Shit. Mm. Can, can I go... But it's no longer under... flowing into the room, right? It's still flowing into the room. Every time you turn it, uh, a, a new pole starts pouring sand through the very uh, but... middle of the ceiling. Can I go underneath the sand to go through the hole? You begin digging through. Um, you find this slit, but being under sand, it's kind of hard to do anything with it. When you dig, you make like a bit of a hole to the ground, but then more sand kind of falls to fill that space. It's kind of hard to do. However, you'll notice this slit, the opening of it, the width is very small, not even like an inch opening. So hard to really fit your body through. But to visualize this, imagine a closed door and the cracks in the door frame. Is, is there sand? Like, can we tell if there's sand draining out of this slit, or is it just, like, not fast? It seems than... to... it seems to be going through, but not at a fast enough pace to, uh, counteract the sand going into the room. God damn. But if, but if I was to get, like, flip it back, and if I hit it with magic missile, would it make it bigger? Yeah, I think that's our yeah. only option, besides death. How many might that? We'll do that, I'll get... Or the to flip it back. Flip it back to the original position. Is okay. I need to make sure of this. Is it the position where we would be on the top of an hourglass, where it's going? Because shouldn't the sand go down further if it's the sand? Shouldn't is the sand be going? The sand is just always coming into the room from a from the top. Amazing. Of the it's, it's like we're in an hourglass in the wall is it's like we're in an right hourglass but the hourglass is constant we're constantly in the side of the hourglass yeah, is both, filling up. both sides are filling both um, sides are filled. well there has to can, can i okay we'll we'll have to flip it to see yeah. there is the option of breaking the hourglass if these are connected, if we are connected to this hourglass, then maybe breaking it lets maybe us. Maybe we flip it out. first. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we'll flip it first, but. Flipping yeah. it back to the original position, the, the turning is slow, so you all begin to like slide uh, with the sand as it goes back in the original position. The half square slit in the in the wall slowly being revealed as the sand uncovers it, and then going back up. 90 feet into the air as you're back into the original position you were in. Okay, can I, use magic, can I use magic missile on the hull? Yeah, as the stand gets to your neck, go ahead and roll damage for a magic missile. Um, three. And then three. You begin shooting your magic missiles into this. It starts chipping away at like this stone, but not a lot, maybe enough to fit like a finger through, um, but more light mm -hmm. is getting to go through. Does it seem um, like sunlight, or is it artificial? Or can we not tell? Uh, it appears to be like a white light. Oh. Mm. I'm- I'm- Would Aloria I'm just, fit for it? No. I'm just realizing To be able now, to look through it, but not fit through it. I'm- I'm just realizing that because we have the hourglass flipped, it's 90 feet in the air, but if we flip it again, it's only 10 feet off the ground. Yeah, it'll- that- Can we destroy the hourglass then? You want to destroy it? Are you sure? I mean, I feel I'm like running rough on again, time. I feel like if we flip it again, then try to climb up real quick, um, we can probably use weapons to try and chip at it, and if that doesn't yeah. work, then break it. Because yeah. if we're all trying to attack it, it will probably go better. Fuck. Let's try and chip away at it with weapons first. Yeah, if we flip, flip it, so it's 10 feet off do, the do ground. We have to do, do we have to do strength or something to claw our way out of the sand? Um. Mm. Uh, yeah, go make a mix check. All right, right. everyone. Yeah, everyone, everyone who wants who's trying to it. not pee up to their chin in sand. Oh, cool. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> check. You know what? This can be my tomb. That's okay. The zero. That's crazy. Shello has been like kind of swimming in the sand basically because he was mm. like digging through it earlier, but now it's beginning to go over top of him and he's going under the sand currently. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. It's like when you swim in a current. <laughs> Is it possible to use acrobatics over strength for me? Uh yes, Anna, you can use acrobatics. Yes. 
on us cheating. I'm waiting, I'm waiting yeah. for um. Oh my god, it's not much better. Nine, uh, Marin and Sana are kind of unable to really get out of it. They kind of get up a little bit more, so like just their torso is kind of, or just their legs are kind of under the sand, but they aren't really able to climb completely out, unlike Balthazar and Pebble. Mm -hmm. However, whenever the uh, hourglass turns, you guys like slide back out to the uh, sort of. Uh, getting up to the top of the sand because of the way it moves. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay. Ten. Well, yeah, me and well, Pebble. Uh, can we turn? Oh, yeah, can we turn the hour, hourglass so it's ten? Yeah, we we need to move it back so that it's back so down. So ten feet. Us. So that the so hourglass. Ten. Turning this, yeah. the kind of slit to the other side. You're seeing you're seeing light through. It is now about ten feet up. At this point, there's sand covering a little bit of it, but some of you are able to kind of climb up as this rotates. Mm -hmm. So now we hit the, hit yeah, the, hit the wall. Yeah. We need to I'll attack with my great one. ass. My great axe. A great axe. Yeah. Sorry. Please do. Because both of you make strength checks to see how well you chip away. An 11. Uh, 14. You begin to open it up a bit more, and you begin to be able to sort of see through onto the other side a bit more. You can maybe fit like an arm into it uh, maybe maybe a little bit more than that but still not like a full body enough for aloria yeah they're enough or... for aloria probably yeah oh but another another question is that is can i see like a room in the other side make an investigation check three six looking through the other side you see it, it looks like more another like abandoned room but this room has like plant life inside of it and but it's kind of hard to see because directly pointing at you are like bright like white beams of light okay oh, well what? uh i don't have time to think about it anymore so fuck i'm gonna misty step into the other room you oh. misty step into the other room you're now on the <laughs> other side and the lights grow brighter and kind of blind you for a second and then when the lights dissipate you are now on the other, all on the other side of this room. There's no wall this. behind you. Everything on the other side is exactly how you saw it first going into the room. And there's now this a doorway behind you that leads into this room. The sand gone. The what? This is trippy. Is there an hourglass in this room? There's an hourglass in the other room. This room, as the light fades, you see that it was emanating from what looks like a statue of a sphinx. Oh. Mm. Well. In this room, uh, it appears to be the ruins of what looks like a garden. There's flowers and plants, but they're kind of overgrown over top what look like collapsed segments of walls. And just sitting in the middle of all of this is the statue of a sphinx. Big. I would like to pet the statue of What this riddles place. does it behold us? <laughs> statue, it, it's it's not too big. It's about the size of uh, probably like Shello. Uh, maybe a little oh, bit bigger. That's pretty um, big. Very small. Uh, but approaching it, Pebble, the stone begins to morph and its oh. mouth begins to speak. Oh. It says, Long ago, there were two kingdoms that lived in harmony, their names lost to the sands of time. Oh, I get One it. I... day, an unknown vessel was sailing the coastal sea when it met an untimely fate. Crashing into the jagged rocks of the shoreline, directly on the border of these two kingdoms. I ask ye, in which kingdom will the survivors be buried? The, Neither. the survivors so want to be buried. Yeah, should I the say that in <laughs> the, sphinx, the Sphinx's head then cocks to the side as soon as you say this, Sana. Its eyes then illuminating once again, but this time illuminating a wall of vines which appears to shine through the vines, and the vines sort of separate, leading up another staircase that seems to go to the surface. The Sphinx's mouth forming into words once again, Trot towards the dawn! Remember oh. the symbol of the downtrodden! 
To take their path, one must go under to rise above. And then its mouth snaps back into it, its place. The eyes, the light in the eyes fades and its head moves back. Oh, so I'm really dumb because I was about to, I was about to ask like, okay, wait, what, like, I was about to ask a ton of questions. Like, wait, what kingdom were they? Like, what the, the blah, 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 blah. And I you were just like, that like, they recovered some bodies. And like, that's oh. what it was. But that's, I realized oh, that maybe I the... shouldn't make assumptions. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was meant to be confusing. No, 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 no. It it's was... funny. It's funnier. I looked at the map and then I'm like, oh, wait. And then I'm like, yeah, I, I remember seeing... the airplane one. I was looking at the map and I was like, oh, it's this. <laughs> sorry, the, the downtrodden? Yeah. We're probably going to go like underground somewhere. Is like the bottom half of the sun. I get it. Is there anything there. else in the room except for the door that opened? I make investigation check. 13. 13. It seems to be a lot of uh, plant life. You see like um, very nice flowers, uh, very bright colors to them. Um, vines overtaking the walls the walls also have uh more paint that seems to be a waving pattern but some of the patterns of of waves seems to end in what appears to be a snake mouth oh that's fun can we re-answer the first riddle (laughs) did we already go below technically yeah we're going west right now we went west going west took us here so that was following the dawn remembering the symbol of the downtrodden no. the dawn dawn is east. oh wait dawn is, dawn east. is east. Yeah. east wait wait fuck ignore me ignore me um <laughs> well, for the symbol when we recognize the symbol we go down yeah so i'm just gonna go up the but stairs. i don't know if that means like right, Shella, going up the stairs the... you see oh, my... um a hatch that seems to go to a above ground I wanna, I wanna open, open that uh, hatch. Opening up the hatch, you're back in that uh, the ruins of the giant building. Your carriage in front of you, seeming to be the same hatch you had went down originally. So do we go east from here? I think yeah, go go east <laughs> until we see their symbol, and then I'm sure that the rest of it is probably some entrance. Oh, you know, just. Get on my carriage. I guess. I guess we're leaving. Oh, if going. if we're supposed to follow the dawn, if we're supposed to trot towards the dawn, that is east and not west, and that means we should mm-hmm. probably go. Well, we don't know the rotation of this. Okay, we should probably go to the east then. Yeah, we're going east. <laughs> yes, we're going to fucking east. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. No, but, but. You guys have like sat around in a circle for like 15 minutes just saying you're going east. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are going east. You're like, we I should go east, is... right? Oh, maybe we should I go am east. so close. Marin, going, uh, going east, the sun is now beginning to uh, set. You visi- visibly are going towards um, the opposite way of the sun, the sun's setting behind you. Marin, can you make a perception check? Okay, no. Stop asking me to look at things. It doesn't work. <laughs> For, well, you're the driving the car. You don't really see anything around you. You're just kind of focused on going the same direction. But eventually, you appear to uh, go over top. Um, you don't notice this, just looking visibly. The feet of Boulder uh, walking on um, soft sand begin to clank against what appears to be hard stone. And you look down and you notice that there is what appears to be a symbol of half a sun. Um, the lower half pointing towards you as you begin walking over it. This symbol about the same size as three times your carriage. Guys, we were right. We were supposed to go east. God, we're geniuses. <laughs> All right, now we need to go down. No. What? That's what it says. Wait, am I... But, let's look around. Yeah, let's let's look around. Can we? I want to touch the ground, on uh, the symbol. Touching the ground. The symbol is like uh, it seems to be like sandstone. 
the same the same kind of rock that you saw in the other ruins it seems to be underneath like the sand except you notice that none of the sand kind of blowing and sort of like the wind and stuff is reaching the is, is going past the boundary of the symbol basically oh um also the since the sun is going down it's beginning to get a bit cold oh i forgot deserts do that go down to so so there's nothing like there's no large staircase going down into the all ground. you see okay. is the uh symbol but you said that uh the wind and sand and stuff doesn't go past the boundary of the symbol yeah the symbol looks like stone underground and the sand of the desert isn't going over where this symbol is outlined by some sort of means it's like there's a boundary that the sand can't cross I'm gonna pick up some sand and try to put it on top of the symbol. You try to do that, and the sand uh, just basically vibrates on the rock and moves to the side. Oh. Out of the symbol. How are we supposed to go down from here? Could we dig in the sand? We could dig in the sand. We could try to do that. On the, the flat part of the symbol? Along the flat edge of the semicircle. All right, just doing that with uh, your uh, with your hand reveals more rock underneath. Hey. Oh. Well, we found one discovery. Rock. Keep digging. Keep digging just leads to like more rock. It seems to be you're you're on a a larger rock uh, brick sand sandstone brick surface, um, but this this the sand is separated just where this symbol is, and the wind kind of blows the sand back over. Uh, as you're kind of digging with your hands okay. you know can we like start feeling around for like buttons like start stomping <laughs> is, does it sound hollow uh it stomping it does sound hollow underneath oh that's a that's a uh discovery so, you know, this is the place we're supposed to go should in, i should i just attack with my long sword i don't think so I, I usually I'm kind of dumb and usually what I resort resort to is attacking things with my weapon. It said something about uh, the, remember the symbol of the downtrodden. Oh, I I think that's just to recognize where the entrance is. Yeah, but the the name of the group is Don Trotters. Yeah, downtrodden Don Trotter. It's like a perhaps. maybe it opens up at dawn. Yeah, it's just oh, is it? I don't know. I'm looking for any different, any like differences in the sand or in the sandstone. Uh, make a perception check. I got a six. Not seeing any difference in, in the symbol and the in the sand. Can oh. I crawl on the uh, the uh, the cart and just just look at it, just perceive it from a, like a higher angle, just take a step back. You see it from above. Make a investigation check. That's progress. Minus two. Three. <laughs> Don't see anything different. Do we have any way of making a fire? I have a tinder box. I, 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 I have that too. I have a torch. I'm thinking because we might have to just camp out for the night. There are no, like sand dunes or anything around us are there i mean this is natural sand dunes none that are like overly big or anything but there, there's dunes all over the place here in the desert make a perception check as you're looking at the uh your surroundings in the desert perception. oh sick and that one <laughs> yeah it's all just looking the same like like desert is there sand yeah that's a start the that, moonlight kind of shining over the sand dunes and everything uh so i'm gonna need all of you to make a constitution saving throw uh, okay uh for the cold yeah i got a nat one. Oh, okay i got a seven i got a nat one <laughs> i got a for... nat 20 for 26. okay so uh pebble sauna and shello you all take a point of exhaustion oh what <laughs> exhaustion holy mackerel the only thing I can possibly think of is waiting till dawn, but it doesn't... I'd say we just start a fire on it then. Well, but I was... warm in the process. Can I light my torch and just, like, put it on it? <laughs> like, touch the flame? 
Yeah, you uh, you can light your torch and kind of put it onto the like stone. Uh, it's not really enough heat to kind of warm everyone though. It's not like a campfire or anything. That is. What? I don't I think I have any torches. I have ten fucking torches. <laughs> and why do you have ten torches? I don't know. That's oh, just what? what I said. When I was did you like, get wait, it? what's that? Te what, why is there ten next to that? And then I scroll up a quantity. We could put a couple of them in, on a in a pile and light them. I, yeah, Marin's, Marin's gonna put like. I just I feel together. like we should have figured this out by now, and I feel I, I genuinely can't think of anything. I have no fucking clue. I so say you're spirit. putting you're putting three torches, uh, asanas that, that's already there, and making that into a campfire. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes, indeed. Can I, can I go on top of one of the sand dunes to look down on it again to get a different angle? But maybe when the one of the sand dunes that are more north of the sigil, so of fourteen, going up on this dune, you spot uh, similar to what Marin had saw earlier, some small furred creatures that seem to be at the top of this dune scurry off and go out into the night leaving no tracks behind what um, the freaking then heck investigating uh this from a higher angle uh quite a bit distance away is you don't see anything specifically with the um the symbol except some of the moonlight kind of glistening off the sandstone rock but you also see what appears to be um a bit of flashing from about a mile further down across the the symbol uh past that there's some quick like glistening of something small that then goes away the hell it's like some sort of metal object or something like that catching the moonlight maybe it's one of the one of the fucking obelisks and we've gone in a massive circle are you gonna tell the rest of us oh yeah okay I mean, it's a mile away. We should probably take the carriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like we'd have to huddle if we were going to the carriage. Just having fire in there, it is highly flammable. This is true. Okay. I suppose we could do that then. Okay, Wait, so, is wood flammable? Uh, Marin driving you all to where Shallow had spotted this. Uh, Marin, make a perception check. Fifteen. You spot what appears to be more, uh, it's just dark out, some like shadowy small figures kind of scurry away from what looks to be a rock protruding from the uh, sand. Uh, it appears to be like a natural, just like boulder or something, not like specifically ruins. But you could also, for a split second, almost see a humanoid figure leave this rock as you approach. Oh shit. We fell for the old glistening rock trick. Damn. Oldest trick in the book. The ooh, something shiny trick. You see these small furred creatures uh, appear to be, as you approach, there's like four or five of them. They look almost like uh, like small cats or something scurry away from this rock, leaving no like really footprints in the, in the sand. Um, getting out to examine this rock, there seems to be not really anything with it except on the very top of the rock some sand remnants like from a shoe or something these these creatures they are not flying they're scampering correct yeah they're on the ground okay Did they go off in any particular direction they seem to scatter in multiple directions now so they're not norps is what i've gathered if you want to examine the rock further you can i would like yes. to do so you make an investigation check how's a 19 sound so uh -huh. a little bit uh behind the rock you see something glistening in the moonlight again, and in the, in the, in kind of buried in the sand, and you kind of dig away at it, and you see that it, it looks like a telescope. Oh, okay. Can and I, can I... you also see, like, under that buried deeper into the sand is a bag, and opening that, you find just some, like, rations, tinderbox, stuff like that. Mm. Am I able to get the telescope out of the what's it called, out of the ground or is it like pretty have is it stuck in there? No, you can get it out. Okay. It's more akin to like a small spyglass, and this stuff looks pretty like quickly buried down under here. I would I would like to pick up the telescope and look through, see if it's normal or if it's if it seems it's to be, fancy. It seems to be a normal telescope. 
Gotcha. However, you you pick it up and it seems to be zoomed in to a in a specific way, like just enough that you point it. You, you're looking around through it and you point it at the the half sun. It seems to be adjusted just enough that that is in full view. Oh, almost like someone uh, was watching you from afar. Oh, watching us. Uh, oh. Well, that's disconcerting. So they were watching from on top of the rock, as in they were stood on top of the rock looking at us. Yeah, and the cello had seen the moonlight kind of reflecting in the glass of there as they were looking through the telescope. Who the heck things. could this person be? Maybe it's Coster and he came back to life? Mm. It's not Coster. Okay. A fiend? A fiend. It could be a fiend. Everyone make a constitution saving throw. God damn Okey it. Dokey. Fuck. Yeah. And Pebble roll a d20 for Mozzie as well. That's nine. 18. Oh. Pebble, Shello, you take another point of exhaustion. Okay. Ooh. This is very cold in the night. Okay, so is Marion taking the characters of everyone back to the symbol? I suppose so. We'll set the fire back up. I'm going to attack it. Make a strength check. Okay. You hit onto the rocks and it seems that there's some arcane force that kind of pushes your weapon back unable to like penetrate into the rock to chip it or anything okay i guess we should go to sleep then i'll just collapse okay you guys set your bedrolls up around the uh your campfire to keep you warm through the night cello tending to it to make sure it stays going for the night to eat everyone then eventually over the course of the night the sun begins to rise from shell's point of view he sees the sun kind of go over the sand dunes and the horizon as the sun gets like halfway over the horizon line it kind of connects with the symbol you all are on making a full sun and those of you that are like laying in the bedrolls you begin to almost sink into the stone like sand almost like quicksand this kind of jolting some of you awake you arise from like the ground on what appears to be the other side of this chamber underneath the same sort of illusory magic has seemed to transfer you under uh, you as well as your carriage are now in this chamber oh thank Sweet. fuck do we get a long rest from that yeah you all take a long rest balzar gets a point of exhaustion Woo! does Why my does exhaustion go away then or does it stay? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, those of you who had exhaustion goes away. Okie dokie. You guys are now sort of in a another underground chamber uh, with similar painted walls and things. However, the staircase goes down and you can kind of see, you hear voices, you hear commotion, you see like torchlight flickering and, and such from down below. But you'll notice seemingly waiting in this room is what looks like a young adult woman. She has this almond colored skin and like a dark brown pixie cut, but she's covered in purple robes and a, and a cloak, with some gold trim on it. She reaches out her hand towards Pebble as some sand cats oh. kind of circle around her about uh, three of them you realize they're the critters you've been seeing out in the desert they're very small they have very fluffy feet to not leave tracks they're very light tan with black and gray stripes kind of stubby looking ears and face but then this girl she says ah can i have my telescope back now uh, uh and that's how we're in the session oh okay <laughs> <laughs> that's so embarrassing is she is she oh, pretty man. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, hell yeah. You'd actually notice that <laughs> she has this chess piece with these vials, yeah. and she also has what looks like a golden gauntlet with long, like, sharp finger points on it. And it seems strikingly oh. familiar to the apparatus the Balthazar. Balthazar has, except more pristine, different in some aspects, no big chamber on the back, but very similar, strangely. That is very cool. I wonder if she can teach him how to fix it. And she reaches these uh, pointed fingers uh, at you in a, in a motion um, asking for this telescope back. Mm -hmm.